Hey, welcome to Android Apps Reviews. My name is Stacy, and today we're going to be looking at the Aldeco Book Reader. Um, this is just an ebook app, uh, ebook reader app. Um, does its job very well. It's been on the market for quite a long time. Uh, let's take a look at it and show you around. So when you first open it up, this is the bookshelf that you're going to be looking at. This is all the books that you have at this current time. They'll be on your shelf. Uh, if you scroll uh, to, to your left, uh, over here you're going to have the last read book. It's going to give you all the information about it. Down below you get all your other books and how much you've read of those and, and what percentage you have done of the books. Um, and then you can scroll the opposite direction which will get you to your recently added. And then once again, you can also press on these tabs to get there a little bit faster without scrolling. So these are the recently added books. That's kind of what, and then to read a book, you would simply go into a book, whatever it may be. So let's go to this, the white thing here. And if you would just simply, uh, to turn your page, you would just press tap on one side over over here you could tap on the right and it's going to go to the right you tap on the left it's going to go back in pages so let's do this so as i'm tapping over there it's turning the pages okay that's how that works um, you can also tap up towards the top and you'll see a bar will come down and this is for bookmarks. Uh, you've got some text highlighting. You can set the uh, uh, how bright the book is and how dim the book is for your reading preference. Or, you, or this is a go-to. Uh, you can click on this and it's going to take you to a certain page or a certain chapter if you want to go there. You also have, uh, let's see, we can find something here. It doesn't matter which one. Let's go with this. If you continue to press on a word, it highlights it so you could highlight quite a bit of stuff you can drag it over and highlight more than one words you can highlight a sentence uh, and you can you can you know make it a note you could share it if you needed to you could look it up on the dictionary if it was a single word search or you can copy so that's the things that you can do with it which uh, really is pretty handy as far as you know if you're doing something as far as maybe it's schoolwork or uh, or just reference for yourself or something that you're going to know you're going to look back later. You'll be able to go back and uh, all the notes that you saved in the book, you'll be able to go look them up uh, by looking through your filters. So let's go look over further over on this side. Let me show you what's going on over here. Uh, the page we're on now is the book page. You also have an author's page. So if you was if you uh, just wanted to look by an author, you could click on an author's name. It's going to pull up all of his books that he has available or her books. Uh, tags if you tag something if uh, uh, most of the stuff is just basically categories like here's my fiction books I've got eight I've got three fantasies you know I've got a ghost book so I mean this is uh, just the different ways that it, it tags it out you can just quickly filter through your books if you have a lot of them um, collections I don't have any collections but if I did it would show the collections or if I put anything in my favorites I could see it here also so let's look at the store real quick. This is the store that comes with this. Um, this uh, the, you've got the new and noteworthy. You've got your bestsellers. Um, you got your public domain books, which the major majority of these public domain books are free. So you can get you some free books. That's why there's no price tag on them. Uh, you got the New York Times bestsellers, which you're going to throw up in here. The nonfiction, that was fiction, nonfiction. And of course, you've got some books in Spanish in case you're a Spanish reader. That gives you that option. Now let's go back. Um, you've, that's all the options we were looking at that you can you can search by all these different options. And there's also the free books, which I wanted to show you that. You've got public domain books, which is where you've seen it earlier when we clicked on it. The store itself uh, has some uh, quite a, a few free books that you can get also. And you can also go the original books. And there's quite a few uh, free books in the original books. And the way this works, I'll just show you how easy it is. Like here's a book about vampires here that did. If I wanted to read this book, I could click on it, get all the details I needed on the page, what it's about. If I wanted it, I could click download. It's going to download it to my device immediately. It's going to add it to my bookshelf and it's going to take me to the book. So here I am on the book and I can turn the page. 
and start reading about the book. That's how that works. Pretty simple. Um, and what I want to also show you is you have the option to add other catalogs. So what's, uh, like here's some suggested ones, maybe you like O'Reilly books, Smash Words, or some romance books, catalogs, but um, perhaps you have other ones maybe from your, your local library or things like that that you wanna take and you wanna add, because a lot of those sometimes are free too. And you can just add the catalog just by adding the title of it in the URL that you would get from the source. And you can add it and then you'd be able to import them into your, uh, into this reader which is really handy. And then files. Uh, the purpose of the files basically is any of the stuff that you download, it's gonna end up in your eBooks, so it's all over here. But uh, there could be a possibility that uh, you, uh, maybe you, you have a book that you brought over from your computer when you plugged it up and you dropped it somewhere and, the, and this app doesn't recognize it. Well, you can go to it with this, you can find it, you can click on it, and in the moment you show it once, it's going to remember it. It's going to put it on your shelf, and then the problem solved. That's the reason this is here. It doesn't happen, happen very often that this app doesn't recognize books when you put them on that device because I've not had that issue yet. But uh, it, uh, I imagine if it did happen, that I would be able to use the files and go back and get, and get it taken care of. So, I mean, this is basically what this is about. There's, there's different sortings you can do with it if you need to sort when the author read, things like that. Uh, you've got some filters, you know, that you can filter the things by if you get a lot of books. Because you might load up, you know, if you're a big book reader, you might load 50, 60 books in here or more and, you know, might be trying to find that one perfect book to start reading and, you know, it might stumble. So that's going to help you out. Uh, a few of the, and then you can, you've got a list view also you can use on this. Uh, it's not as pretty as the bookshelf, but perhaps this is what you would rather have because uh, you have a chance to hit every book here, see details. You can delete your books out for your thing also. So um, that is the that's mainly what this app is for. Like I said, it's ebook reader. You've got a nice little store in it. You're not. It's not like the Kindle or the Barnes and Noble where you lock down the one store. This you can import the uh, the catalogs, different catalogs in, and things of this such, and you can run through it, which is really really handy. And it's really nice. It works really easy, uh, really good. Not just not just on tablets, but uh, I had this actually on uh, uh, one of my smartphones and. It worked uh, without any issue whatsoever. I believe I had it on a Galaxy and I didn't have any issue whatsoever. So um, it's definitely a pretty decent app and I recommend it for an e-reader. It's decent. There's there's no reason not to like this app. There's nothing about it that you're not going to like. Uh, it gives you plenty of options as far as going in and messing with the settings as far as perhaps the page is too bright or too dark. Or if you want to rate, make the font bigger, make it smaller. All those options are in there. They're all readily available which makes it nice. It makes a nice reader. Perhaps, uh, you know, you're reading in a dark area and then you need it a little bit brighter, perhaps, or the opposite. You're, you're outside in the sunlight and you, you want to do the opposite. Uh, you, you want to get that glare off of it. So uh, you have that options. You can set it all with this to the settings, which is quite nice. Um, so I would say check it out, install it, see if you like it. And if you do like it, post below. Let me know if you like it. Uh, tell me what you think about it. And uh, if this video helped you out, let me know. Um, 